Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through uh, the latest updates I have to the StyleGAN 2 ADA PyTorch notebook for um, covering how to do training. So there's been a lot of updates with Colab over the past month or two, um, so I've made this notebook sort of work with all those updates. So as of today's Tuesday, August 9th, as of today, this will work for Colab, and hopefully it works for the long-term future, but we'll see. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So I'll drop a link to this in um, the channel or in my um, video notes for folks. Um, first thing you want to do is just check to see what GPU you got. And here I am. I have a P100. So P100 isn't great. It'll work well, but it'll be a little slow. So, you know, it might take a week to totally train your, your model. Um, a V100, probably you can get away with it in a couple days. An A100 might be a day or two. Um, it's always better to maybe even train these things longer if you can. Um, but uh, at least a week would be good for a P100. Next, I'm just going to mount my drive. And now um, this is the next thing that we want to run. I'm actually going to go ahead and yeah, this will be fine. So um, this next cell we're going to run. If you haven't already installed this, um, it will go ahead and just install all the code you need to into your drive account. So this does assume you're using drive. If you're not using drive, um, you can run this, but then you're going to risk losing your file save. So I would check out one of my other videos on why that is. Um, but for those of you that are familiar using drive with me, you can just run this cell. And the last thing we need to do before we can actually start setting up our training is run this cell. So this is the newest cell that fixes a bunch of issues with Colab. Make sure that when you open up the notebook, you are seeing this exact cell here. So at the top, it says uninstall new jacks. The other thing to make sure you're looking for is on the second to last line here. It should say torch equals 1.90 plus CU111 and torch vision equals 0 0.10. If it doesn't say this, if it says torch equals 1.10, you might run into issues. So just make sure you're using the notebook that I linked to. Go ahead and run this. This is going to take a minute because we're going to uninstall a bunch of stuff and then reinstall a bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video. Um, and when this is finished, I'll come back and we'll finish up this. But just know this might take five to 10 minutes to actually run. Installing, it took about three minutes. You can see that here. Um, and at the very end, I didn't get any restart buttons. So sometimes, um, Probably unlikely, but maybe in the future you might get a restart button here. Um, if you see a restart button here, you will need to press it, and then you will want to rerun this cell. But as of August 2022, you don't need to do that, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now we are finally ready to set up. Um, you're actually going to skip this cell. Um, this cell is here if maybe I make changes to this repo. At this point, I'm not really making changes to this repo, so I highly doubt you'll need to run this. If you maybe you StyleGAN 2 ADA like a year ago um, and use my version, you might need to come back to this and run this, but for most people, they're not going to need to use this. Okay, so let's look at our training features. So in this training model section, you're going to need to edit a bunch of different settings. Um, the main settings you're going to want to edit are up here, um, and then a couple of things you might need to edit are down here. I would say for most users, you don't need to edit these settings. Um, these are kind of set to like good defaults. Um, but for some of you who are maybe in my classes and have asked for help, I might have said, hey, edit this gamma value line or whatever. So what do we need to fill in up here? So the first time we run this, the very first time we run this, we want to point this to our data set. So this should be your all square images. They can be squares of 256, squares of 512, or five, squares of 1024. And they need to be zipped up. And every image must be that size. If they're not that size, you will get an error message. So make sure they're exactly that size. Um, in my case, for my demo, I'm actually just going to pull a, a data set I've been using in a different model. Um, that's Unsplash Landscapes 1024. So I'm just going to take that path. And I'm going to copy that full path inside of the single quotes. Don't worry that this is referencing StyleGAN Excel. Just know that whatever path you have to your zip file, you want to make sure that this path is accurate here. Next, resume from. So if you have a 1024 model, you can probably just leave this as is. So you can just use the pre-trained Wikiart model. If you have a different size, say 512 or 256, what you will likely want to do is you'll go to awesome pre-trained style again too. I'll drop the link of this in the video as well. 
and you will want to find a pre-trained model here that is about the same size or is exactly the same size sorry so if you have a 256 by 256 data set you might want to use faces 256 or if you have 512 by 512 you might want to get 512 by 512. what you'll need in order to do this is you'll want to download this file so go here you'll go to source or download link and you'll download it you'll then upload it to drive and then you'll use that path here since that's a little outside of the scope of generally what most of my students are doing i'm going to leave this as is so if you're using 1024 by 1024 leave this as is if you have a different size just reach out to me over slack and we can talk about that next we're going to leave aug strength as zero we're going to leave train count as zero and then for miro x and, and miro y we kind of want to decide what we're going to set for so x is left to right can your images be flipped left to right and still look good in the case of say faces or landscapes or other things then you might want to then you do want to set this to true um, in the case of say letter forms which can't be flipped left to right and still maintain legibility or accuracy you'd want to set this to false similarly for mirror y you're going to set that to true or false based on your data so my are landscapes and i want upside down landscapes because um, i want accuracy in this so i'm gonna leave this to false I'm going to skip these, um, but just know that if you if I've told told you to edit something, you might want to edit these values. So let's go ahead and run this cell. This is just going to save our data to the model. And then what I need to do here is I actually need to run the training command. So when you run this command, it's going to start running, and you're going to want to leave this running for as long as you can. So if you're on Colab, the free version, you only get 12 hours. If you're on Pro, you'll get 18 hours. If you're on Pro Plus, you'll get 24 hours. Only if you're on Pro Plus can you actually background or like close the tab. If you're using anything else, you need to keep your computer running and the tab open. So let's go ahead and run this. And as this runs, it'll spit out some data. The main thing I'm going to look for here is I want to get to a place where it gives me a tick. And the tick means it's running and there's nothing that's going to happen or crash on it. And this, again, will take a little bit of time, especially this, this setting up PyTorch plugins. This will take a, a minute or two. Um, just know that you basically want to keep this open and keep looking at it until you get to a point where it gives you a tick. And that should, in this case, happen within a couple minutes. Yep, okay, and now we're at tick zero. So at this point, I'm fairly confident that this is gonna keep running. Um, now with Colab, if you get disconnected from your Wi-Fi or if your computer shuts down and you're not on Pro Plus, your model will stop. Um, so try to make sure that doesn't happen. I know things happen, but try not to make try not to let that happen. Um, so I think I mentioned before, there's a app called Taurine on the App Store that will like keep your computer running, um, make sure it's plugged in, make sure your Wi-Fi is consistent, that sort of thing. So at this point, you are now training. You're going to want to train this until your Colab notebook shuts off. When your Colab notebook shuts off, we're going to go over in a separate video how to resume your training. Um, the key here is that training this takes quite a long time, maybe, maybe a week. Um, and we want to be able to restart without losing all of our previous training. So that's why we set everything up in Drive. Um, and in the next video, I'll show you how to resume your training. So for now, just keep this running. Um, and wait until it stops, and then you'll, I'll link you to another video to resume your training from there.